ATM. We're gonna load the engine up. Into the truck. North Carolina TKM built motor. Let's do it. Denton, North Carolina, five and a half hours away. We will be there just in time for the morning. Here we go. Beautiful North Carolina. I love this state. Everything about it speaks to me. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. This is how you know a place is gonna be badass. If people like Jason support this guy, then we're good. But it's way out in the farmland. I've never been here before. I've never met these people before. But if Jason knows them, Jason trusts them, so do I. I've never been here before, so I don't know exactly where to go. Uh, so we'll just drive around a little bit. That looks like TKM right there. There we go. So normally, once we pull them apart like that, we we'll go ahead and throw, you know, all your main studs, change over to head studs and everything. Mm -hmm. You want to do all that too? If it's needed, yeah. Okay. How much power do you want to make? That's well, uh, I was making about a thousand, about and the thousand. other guys are making like twelve hundred, right? Pretty reliably. Yeah. So I think if we build to like a fifteen hundred horsepower level, yeah. it should live forever. Yeah. Because I've got the full three eight. Okay. Coming. Gotcha. Jason should have that in like a week or two. Okay. So uh, yeah, the three eight going on there as soon as okay. As soon as it gets. So back. yeah, yeah, we'll want to do all that. Then. <laughs> we'll want to switch over to main studs, switch over to uh, switch over to the ARP head studs and all that stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'll, I'll let you talk to Kevin about hooping yeah. it or uh, O-ringing it if mm -hmm. you want to do that, because I mean it's going to be seeing quite a bit of boost. So yeah. It, He'll probably say, just go ahead and top fuel hoop it. That way you won't have an issue. What, what, what is that? So the top fuel hoop is actually a ring that goes inside the head. So, uh, and it, it's got a receiver groove into the block, okay. into the sleeve. And so we use, you have to use a copper head gasket whenever you do that. Okay. But the copper head gasket will actually put, or that ring will push that copper head gasket into okay. the receiver. So that way, once you start cramming a lot of boost into it, you're, you're not slinging so head instead, gaskets. instead of like o-rings it, it's more I, I saw like in the honda world they just started doing where they like welded a ring on there or something so okay. it's actually like physical metals right instead yeah of like an o-ring okay yeah so we can go inside here in a little bit and oh, i'll yeah. show you yeah, i'll show awesome. you everything and uh but yeah so the the top fuel hoop actually goes into the head it's basically like what they use in uh yeah. all the funny cars and everything like that to hold all the boost yeah so okay yeah uh, i mean we're we're running one car has seen 80 pounds of boost and haven't blown a head gasket <laughs> so my honda couldn't do 40. <laughs> <laughs> so i mean it's a big benefit of throwing hoops in that thing yeah. for sure yeah 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 so, uh if you want to run if you want to come inside i can show you everything yeah. that we so this is your top fuel hoop here and okay we yeah. cut a receiver in the groove mm -hmm. or in the head and pop that hoop in there and so it's one solid piece. Instead so of like over it, that was a, yeah, because that was a pain in the ass trying to get that in there, yeah. put that in there. Yeah. yeah. So there, there's no s seam on these. Okay. It's one solid piece, and so that way, the hit, uh, the hoop here will actually push into the block here. And there's the receiver group for the hoop. Oh uh, yeah. So. It'll actually push that copper head gasket down into that hoop or into that receiver. Yeah. And that way, when you're throwing all the boost you can throw it to her, it's not going to pop just a that head much, Yeah, it's just that, that much more. Right. Just about every car we have here does it uh, now. That's a lot of sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> Got quite a few sleeves. Well, at least we know we're not waiting on those. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's the bad thing because we've had to order all those and uh, it's taken a while to get them. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, apparently that's like everybody, everyone yeah. across the board. Like people are starting to go back to work or not, but getting caught up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, park parks are our biggest issue right now. Yeah. Well, damn. And yeah, this is all of our finished <laughs> stuff that people need to come pick up. <laughs> Well, that's good to see, you know what I mean? Like, I, I would rather see people have the problem of so much business, like they're trying. Oh, yeah. And as, once as once we to... go inside, you'll see it's, it hasn't slowed down. Yeah. Uh, so this is our teardown area. Okay. This is where everything starts at. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's our sister company, uh, Mr. RPM. They do all K&M stuff. So, uh, we'll bring yours in here. Tear it down, everything that goes through our wash and our sonic before it goes in. Uh, least important thing, what's it usually cost to like paint the engine? Paint the engine? Yeah. I, I couldn't tell you prices on that, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I'm just figuring like I'm not, this isn't like a race car race car for me. Gotcha, gotcha. But if it's already out, I'd rather just do everything at once. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had a couple of people out there. You got your head section over here. Mm -hmm. uh, Robbie and Dustin over here. Go ahead. Nickel. Uh, so everything goes through the CNC machine. Once the lock comes in here, he'll put it in the CNC machine. Heads will go after they disassemble it, go into the CNC machine. And over here is your line hole. Um, and over there is your balance section. What's crazy is that like it's like 7.30 and you guys don't open till 8 and there's already people here working. I'm like, oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Most of the time we're all here at 7, 7.30. Yeah. That's just crazy. Yeah. No. Good. And most of us don't leave until yeah. 6 or after. I'm starting to understand why Jason trusts you guys so much. <laughs> this is our assembly room. Jesus you know, Christ. We're slap covered up right now. Mark one of our engine builders here. What's up? Here's our other one, Sam. Cool. Bye. That's TKM. Uh, I've never been so excited for an engine build. Uh, I've been through several, and uh, the shops are usually not that clean. And I'm going to say they're usually not that professional. That place. Now I know why Jason trusts TKM so much. Uh, everything they said, it looked as it should. It, it sounded as it should. You know, I'm looking around, I was there earlier than the hours were open and people were already in there working. Everything was packaged and clean. He went through the process. Uh, I didn't record it, but they've got something called My Shop. So as they build uh, the engine, they're gonna, I can uh, view the progress picks online without bothering the guys too much. I know that when they get a chance, they'll upload all their stuff so I can track it that way uh, and share that with you guys. I'm really excited. I'm going to get with Jason, uh, 1320 Junkie, and uh, those guys, and we will decide uh, just how extreme we're going to push that build. But I'm of the habit of doing it right the first time now. Um, so we can expect a lot that way. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back as soon as I have an update.